Uh, welcome back. Time to talk America. And in the studio from the Republican Overseas Organization here in London is Jennifer Ewing. Thanks for coming in, Jennifer. Uh, my God, it's all going on over there, isn't it? Uh, now, uh, this Donald Trump will deliver his no doubt triumphant speech at the Republican mm -hmm. convention in Mil Milwaukee around about 3 a.m. London time. Uh, so uh, excellent though it will be. Sorry, Donald, I don't think I'll stay up to watch it, mm -hmm. but uh, I w well, we'll watch it tomorrow. I think it's going to be quite an event, obviously. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, last night, suddenly Joe Biden's got COVID. Yeah. COVID-19. <laughs> COVID-19. Is that still a thing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, he, he's I got COVID-19. I, yeah, I, I thought we'd sort of covid it on uh, several so. strains. Something about him self-isolating. Yeah. I didn't know anyone did that anymore. By the way, Sky no. News are going, why isn't he wearing a mask? Oh, Just shut up. <laughs> shut up, you idiots. Uh, anyway, uh, he says he's got COVID. The, doc the doctors then say mm. he's suffering from a general malaise. You mm. can see what's going on here. Right? Right, they've been lying for two years yeah. that he is not uh, uh, that he's not senile. He is senile. I think they're lying now. I don't think he's got COVID. I certainly don't think he's got a general malaise. This coincides uh, conveniently with him finally saying, "Well, the only reason I'd step down would be met for medical reasons mm. on doctors' advice." Mm. In other words, they're shaping up. They're preparing us for Joe to say, with great reluctance, Completely. "You know, I will yes. step down." And the and the Democrats will say, "Well, he would have beaten Donald Trump, but this damn COVID thing." <laughs> That's what going on isn't it they, they, they just they've been telling us lies for two years and now they're going to tell us another stupid lie when are those idiots going to realize we just don't believe you <laughs> well you're right and you know somebody said the only people testing for covid these days are people who are trying to avoid something so he's clearly yeah. trying to avoid the campaign jail um an internet sleuth interestingly tracked the uh, no fly zone over mm. his delaware home mm. which was put in request one day before he said he had COVID for a four-day weekend, so that's a little interesting. And you're right, I mean, that fact that they said he would only step down for a medical reason. It, it's a shame. It's a shame for the Democrats who mm. deserved a real primary and deserved, you know, a whole season in, in which to choose mm. their candidate. And now mm. they're going to have to, you know, shuffle around and whether they put Kamala Harris at the top of the ticket and pick somebody else or... It, it's an absolute mess for them and one of their own creating, which the media, as you said, you know, was completely mm. culpable. Yeah. in all of this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a scandal. It's a scandal. Yeah. And, you know, frankly, you know, if he steps down, if he t stepped down and said, and said, yeah, well, it turns out I, you know, I have been senile for two years, no one would really care. But mm. they're going to uh, shroud it in yet another mm. stupid little boy lie. I mean, mm. what is the matter with these people? Uh, we've now got apparently Barack Obama joining the chorus yes, yes. of VIP Democrats saying he's going to go. So I think we can assume, I, I had a good idea about What's that? Do, do you know what? I, if I was, uh, if these Democrats had any sense at all, they'd leave it till about 2 a.m. London time, mm. one hour before tr a Trump speech, and announce he's stepping down. Mm. That uh, would be that's genius. Actually, that, see, hey, I should be in. Uh, I should mm. be in Washington, shouldn't that's I? That's very good strategy. Yeah, but they won't uh, because they're not that bright. Uh, but uh, I think we can assume the drumbeat is now <laughs> that he will yes. step down. Uh, will the replacement? just be Kamala Harris? I can't be anybody else, can Well, I? I think anybody that tells you they know exactly what's going to be happening is lying because I don't think the Democrats know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, as we discussed before, like if they dump Kamala, they've got some problems because she was a DEI candidate. And then also yeah, they don't get to keep the hundreds of millions million dollars, of dollars yeah, that yeah. they've raised. They have to start over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a problem. So it kind of, and I think a lot of them are just resolved to we're going to lose. Yeah, that's what I think. A yeah. lot of the talent, you know, the, the good governors on the Democratic side, whether it's Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan, Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania, dare I say, Gavin Newsom of my home state of you California. Hold, you hold but, Gareth. you know, whatever. Some people, that appeals to some people. I mean, you saw Elon yeah. said he's taking more businesses out of California um, because of his, you know, Gavin's weird trans bill. But anyway, um, yeah, well, well, anybody Elon that Musk, right, yeah, Texas, yeah. wants a chance uh, to run is now like, I don't want to be the guy yeah, that lost to Trump. Beaten, yeah. I'll wait till 2028. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost like they've resolved to losing. But yeah, I, th I think they've sort of privately conceded. Yeah defeat uh, 
Uh, let's talk about Donald. I mean, this speech is going to be something tonight, isn't it? I think so. I think so. I mean, I, I loved some of the... I don't know if you guys have been watching, but some of the speeches are just... They're I'm biased, obviously, but they're incredibly positive. They're happy. They've got this patriotic spirit again. And um, you know what? One of the things I've loved is how they're talking about... Um, you know, whether it's Donald Trump Jr. saying, who would have thought a billionaire's kid from Trump Towers would come together and talk um, and agree a lot with a kid from Appalachia, you know, mm. from I, J.D. Well, Jennifer, Vance. sorry, I've got to stop oh. you. Can you sort of do something with your microphone because it's like uh, crackling, it crackling away? I thought that was me. I'm glad it's no, not you I, this I, time. I think it's usually it's me. It's usually my it hair. Could so, yeah. It could be you. It could be you. I don't got, think it is Sorry, me, folks, though. these uh, microphones no, tend to... Better? Yeah, uh, it's sort of uh, make noises, uh, okay. but the, I think you're okay now. So uh, okay? you, anyway, you were saying. Um, uh, so Trump, you see, what the, what the triumph of Trump uh, is that a lot of people said he's a privileged kid. Nothing, nothing has ever gone wrong with him ever. Uh, you know, and he doesn't really know real life. Well, this assassination attempt. Uh, we'll talk to you, Isabel. While we saw yeah. Jennifer's microphone, it sort of made, turned him into an instant tough guy. Oh, absolutely. I mean, which of us will ever forget these images? You know, what yeah. presence of mind and uh, sheer kind of general, genuine bravery. I mean, we talked about this last night, didn't we, Kev, to actually in the middle of that kind of drama, he actually saw fit to punch the air and rouse the crowd on his side. I, as I said last night, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have done that. I'd be yeah. probably quaking on the floor yeah. doing what I'm told by the yeah. uh, the FBI crew. Um, so well, yeah, much but, to but, say but, on this. It's, it wouldn't have been any good for me. I mean, I'm not Amazonian, but you're just under six foot, uh, and I wouldn't have been able to hear right. the uh, short, fat female secret agents, <laughs> yeah, 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 service agents who are about down there. So they're going to go, Kev, can you hear me? No, I can't hear you down there. Donald Trump's six foot two. It was ridiculous. That woman, Kimberly Cheadle, has got to go. By the way, let's uh, remind ourselves of uh, Joe's sudden uh, statement that maybe he might step down. Uh, take it away, Joe Biden. If I had some medical condition that emerged, if somebody, if the doctors came to me and said, you got this problem, that problem. But I made a serious mistake on the, in, the, in the whole debate. And, uh, and look, when I originally ran, you may remember it, I said I was going to be a transitional candidate. And I thought that I'd be able to move from this, just pass it on to someone else. But I didn't anticipate things getting so, so, so divided. That is setting the scene mm. for him stepping down. Who, who the hell do these morons think they're kidding? We know what we see you. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Well, I mean, you and Greg and your yeah. channel and all of us have been discussing this for years, yeah. you know? So it's just as we discussed, it's once the debate happened, everybody has to act like this is a big deal and rush around and try to figure out new plans because they really thought they could pull it off. Yeah. And now it is very obvious and the, the pressure is coming from it's down ticket yeah. you know it's going to be down ticket they're going to lose I as mean, well just looking at him you know i, I have a very elderly cat he's 18 <laughs> she's, eight, she's 18 it's good comparison and the, and the eyes of my cat just don't quite they're just not quite right she right. doesn't see very well right. and i when i look at him now right. i kind of think that is like my cat yeah you know, she's yeah. Just, just not focused yes there. the cat just she's still enjoying life but yes she's not all there and she's also not leader of the free world. Yeah, she right? so she can. She'd do a look better job her. than Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. Joe, Joe Biden. By the way, uh, him uh, in Air Force One going in and out of Air Force One on those steps. I mean, you look at it. I mean, this is a really decrepit old man. You think he can't be the president of the United no. States? Right. It's, it's an embarrassment. No, and completely. Really sad as well. It, Honestly, yeah. it just feels actually genuine, like a bit of a human tragedy now. You know, yeah. the people around him have a for lot sure. to answer for. I Absolutely, it's you know. It's wrong, isn't it? It's just wrong. It yeah. is. Now, let's just, just before you go, Jennifer, uh, thanks for coming in, as always. Always a pleasure. Uh, the election, I mean, we're, we're, a lot of us are sort of going, oh, man, after that assassination, he was in all the punch, and he can't possibly lose. I don't think he will lose, but I think it's a wrong call to say it's going to be a landslide. It's going to swing. It's going to hang on the swing states, isn't it? Oh, for uh, sure. Uh, and uh, I think he's got them at the moment. The polls are showing he's got them. But that's where the battleground will be. If Kamala Harris takes over the mantle, she'll be in those swing states talking to the women about abortion and all that, won't she? I mean, that, that will be her attack. This guy is bad for women. Well, I mean, you know, you're assuming very much that... 
all women, number one American voting women. issue American is abortion. American women don't necessarily. I, I'm yeah, sorry, but you I, may I, I surprise could, Kamala, and especially in those swing states of Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, there are a lot of Christians, there are a lot of people yeah. that uh, that's not their voting issue. They're voting issue at border, economy, yeah, all this stuff. It's so. interesting. It's interesting. I, I mean, I, 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 maybe it was to you. I, I was talking about it the other night saying, well, you know, having lived in America, all, all European women, particularly in Britain, mm. they said, well, American women will rise up against this abortion. I said, well, you don't understand that many, many, many American women are against abortion. Yeah. Well, and might I add that all of this Kamala Harris coming out and saying that uh, the Republicans are trying to ban abortion nationally, it's that's just, either, it's wrong. Yeah. If you look at the GOP platform, for the first time in 40 years, they do not believe in a national abortion ban, mm. just like they no longer say, uh, they mention traditional marriage. Mm. So they've moved to a mar moderate stance on a lot of that, which has upset the conservative wing of the party, mm. but the populist wing of the party is like, great, you do yeah. you. I do think, uh, I mean, I, I absolutely agree with you. It's not quite the contentious issue that mm. people on this side of the Atlantic think it is, but it is still an issue. And I do think uh, Trump uh, is going to have to raise his game a bit on it. He, he basically just goes, well, it's up to the states, which it kind of is, but he needs to show, I think, a little bit more involvement in the debate. You, I mean, the, mess, the Democrats' messaging on abortion, especially in the 2022 mm. midterms, mm. was excellent. Yeah. They convinced, you know, the mm. population at large that Roe versus Wade nationally banned abortion, yeah. right? And that's simply not true. It goes back to the states. And Trump's policy, um, which is states decide, is more popular than Biden's, which is taxpayer-funded until birth. Yeah. That's but, radical. Absolutely. Wow. By the way, last that's point, it. let's talk about Trump derangement syndrome. So mm -hmm. for a brief, brief period at the weekend uh, even uh, Joe Biden was being very conciliatory you know we've mm, got to stop mm. the harsh language sorry I said bullseye but I didn't say crosshairs hey eh? <laughs> no one said you did uh, <laughs> dial down the language you can listen to them now come on get that bandage off he's really milking yeah. this isn't he <laughs> he had a bullet through his ear that's why he's got a bandage on it it, it didn't last long did it no it didn't and there was some guy on MSNBC basically trying to say was it a bullet or was it a piece of shard from the teleprompter yeah. and he went into it with such forensic and more intellectual and journalistic uh, curiosity than they've done for anything yeah. regarding Biden. Uh, I'd like to conclude but we haven't really got the picture read a bit. I'd just like to show everybody the uh, roof that ah, the, uh, the head of the roof. secret it's service. Too <laughs> It's about like right. that. It's not too slopey. Uh, but she has got... Here's the thing about Kimberly Cheetle. She's a teacher. Because Jill Biden, mm. Dr. Jill Biden, yeah. uh, like all pseudo-intellectuals, is obsessed with... Uh, pseudo uh, academics that's what she is she's obsessed with DEI mm. uh, diversity uh, equality equity uh, e e equity it's worse than equality, is it e equity? It's equity. I that was something nobody has a problem with equality we're all for equality this is equity oh, equity which means and inclusivity the, yes so she Kimberly is obsessed with this and it's her big mission so I've got to get 30% of secret agents must be women that's my mission that's not equity 50% no. is equity. Uh, so apart from that, but also, you know, if you're a sort of big guy and you're six foot three and well built and you could do the job properly, you won't get the job because Kimberly is busy employing fat, short women. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're going. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sorry. I mean, I'm really I mean, overdoing this. But you, 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 I actually, you're not. Overdoing I'm not. Overdoing it. It. I'm, I'm I, just using terms that people don't like. I mean, no, English. No, 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 no. It's called I, the English as language. As a woman, I'm actually fascinated by this. Yeah. I really want to know whether those women underperformed relative to their male counterparts. That is a legitimate debate to have. If there is real evidence that they under performed then i think we should know well i, well, I mean have a look at the footage i've I'm, seen it there's I've seen one it, there's one that doesn't seem to know yes. what to do with their guns i, have yes. seen I think it, you can, i think there's one that they uh, that has been uh, quoted or the lip read saying what do we do oh. what do we oh do my i mean right. it's a disaster well, what we don't know well, is whether there were any not, men that were doing that I'm that's just true saying. no you're just completely saying. right yeah. and you know yeah. all for female equality but one of the things is they're not tall enough yeah. you know yeah, you've that's got my cover. point that, that trump's a, a yeah. big guy yeah, you know he likes his mcdonald's he likes his you know i have no problem with women being short and plump but maybe not people for the job maybe not if you're a a secret service agent so, I mean, uh, and uh, by the way, uh, you know, in the end, so 
Somebody, somebody said to me the, uh, yeah, today, oh, there's a rumour that uh, she said that uh, she didn't put agents on the roof uh, because it was, it was too slopey. Yeah. I said, rumour? She went on American <laughs> television <laughs> and said so. Yeah, yeah. So for her, the, the issue here, it was a health and safety issue right. for her agents. What about the health and safety <laughs> of the man she was supposed right. to be protecting? Donald Trump, unbelievable. Jennifer, great to yeah, see you. Yeah, nice to see you guys. Great to mm. see you. That was great fun.